Today I'm buying a brand new scooter in Pattaya, Thailand at Mit Yon. And here we go. It's Mit Yon, South Pattaya, it's the biggest one. And they have two ABV 160s right now. And how much is it? Oh, 109,500 baht. Okay, what do you think? I think we should buy it. To pay for it, do you accept credit card or no? Can. You can. Three, three, three percent, sir. 3% credit card. So we're not going to do that because that'd be expensive. So we'll do bank transfer. What I'm going to do is use WISE to wire cash into my Thai bank account. That'll cover this. Can. Okay, I pay it. I can ride it around, but I need to make sure I stay in the country because I need to be here to sign paperwork, yeah, whatever, like in 30 days. Otherwise, if I don't, this won't be licensed. Yeah. Do we get a discount on one of those? How much are those helmets? Full face shield, how much? 2,300 for full face shield. 111,800 baht. That's the total out the door. And we don't have to have insurance or nothing? We do, don't we? So, this is the price already included. Oh, so this includes insurance for one year. Yeah. And then what happens after one year? I have to pay again? Do I just contact the company? I, or do I come here and can get it? Can do everywhere. I can oh, come here? Can. Oh, my shop. This is great. I just come in oh, here. 7-Eleven, everywhere can do it. Insurance and tech. That's pretty wild. Okay. How much was the insurance then out of this price? So 800 no, baht for insurance for one year. And wow. 300 baht for number plate cover. The scooter itself is 109,500 baht. Uh, and then the, the 1,200, the 1,200 baht, that's to register it, transfer the name all that oh and the insurance what does the insurance cover if it breaks the scooter it does not cover that what it covers is my medical bills that's yes. okay yes but if i want insurance to cover the scooter if it breaks there is insurance for that do most people get insurance on their scooters or no no insurance in thailand no. 200 motorbikes come out of here yes. every month and i'll have to say every one of these dealerships we've been in everybody's been really nice so you have to keep this list if okay yeah and you drive just keep it in the uh, seat yeah. in the motorbike yes. yeah and this is all in thai no english no. is this in thai also the owner the whole thing in thai Thai, yes. oh my gosh how fast can i get a key made 20 minutes if they have this in stock so okay we got uh backup key are we done there's three ways to buy the scooter the first option i could have gone in there and had gig by the scooter. If I have gig by the scooter, then I have to transfer it into my name later on. Option two, I go in there and buy it. Gig buys it, makes it super simple. Just leave it in her name because I trust her, no problems. Done deal, I can forget about it. Everything's squared away. Any minor details, she can work out. She speaks Thai, that's the easiest way. And the third option, and it's gonna be probably the option most people choose when they come here if they don't have a Thai girlfriend or wife they can trust to put it in their name, go through that process. The first step is you go in there and put a thousand baht down and order the scooter that you want. Once you put that money down, you're going to need your passport, make a copy of this page here, your passport, and a copy of the immigration stamp. We enter the country. Then along with the passport and those copies, you're gonna need to bring in at least two photos. I always keep a package of these with me all the time. And you're gonna need 300 baht. It has to be cash. That's all they accept dealing with immigration or any government stuff I've ever had to deal with. Then you'll go to immigration. Then once you do that, you're gonna turn that in along with the copies that you've made. Then in return, you'll get this paper and they'll stick one of the pictures to this paper. And it's just, an address verification. It's just showing that I live somewhere, I have a residence. And whether it's a private home or a condo or a hotel. So as you probably noticed, when I left the dealership, I had a red license plate on here. And that's a temporary plate. So along with this white plate, you'll get the registration booklet. Along with the white plate and the registration booklet is the other paperwork here that will stay in your scooter in case you get pulled over. Uh, thanks to a subscriber gave me a great idea to put in a nice little package like this, separate from my owner's manual where I had it so I can grab it quickly. I'm not fumbling around and I always smile if you get pulled over. The way I purchased the ADV 160, legally, Gig purchased it. So it's really her scooter because my thinking, I got some business in the US, real estate business. When I get back, then I'll just switch it in my name because I couldn't stick around to sign the paperwork and take care of the registration and everything when the white plate showed up a few months later. So now I get back to Thailand and first step I have to do is go get the address verification form, get this taken care of. Very simple. That's the easiest part right there. Then I have to take this 
along with the green book and my passport to the transportation department. Most of the people working there speak a little bit of English, broken English. It's very difficult to understand what's going on if you've never done any of this before. For me, it was anyways. Got to verify the color, the VIN number, make sure it's not stolen, no issues with it. And then pay 1,700 baht for them to create the paperwork to switch all this stuff over. Knowing what I know now, I would never buy thinking, okay, you buy it for me later on, we'll transfer it. No, I'm either gonna buy it and you keep it in your name forever, wife, girlfriend, or I buy it just for me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up so I know. <laughs> be nice to the police. They'll be nice to you.